Hi there, Wycliffe Barrett. Welcome to part one of a uh, deep dive tutorial into the Rotate MD11F. This is part one, fuel configuration. As we know, this aircraft is incredibly complex, uh, so much so that before you even get the batteries on, before you even turn the batteries on, you have to sort out the fuel configuration. Uh, and basically, you need to plan, get your flight plan, find your fuel, get your zero fuel weight, and a number of other things as well. And that's what we're going to do now. So I use Simbrief, which I think is uh, ideal for my purposes. You can use PFPX or any other flight planning and fuel management system. But I'm going to use Simbrief, and here we are. I'm going to create a flight down to Athens today. So my uh, airline is FedEx, and my flight number is uh, 2302, so FedEx 2302. We're going to go from EGFF to LGAV, which is Athens, LGAV, there we go. Uh, flight plan has been created, but we do need to get the aircraft type for more information, more detailed information. So we're looking for MD1F, there it is, MD1F, which comes up as MD11F, it's a freighter aircraft. And uh, I'm just going to sort out the... Uh, Cost index, so I'm going to use a cost index of 50, which is recommended in the tutorial for the MD11. So there's my uh, cost index. Uh, flight plan is done. Um, we need now to uh, generate the full flight so we can get the full data and full figures and weights and balances for the flight down to Athens, of course. Um, there you can see the flight plan. Exmoor 1 Alpha departure, uh, obviously runway runway 12 is in use, uh, and there's the route on the map. But let's generate that full flight. There we go. Yeah, I, I wanna I wanna generate it, so we'll confirm that. So it's generating the briefing package, and this is where you get all the data, the complete data for the flight. And you do need this, and I'll show I'm gonna show you why and how we're gonna configure. Uh, the aircraft in terms of fuel weight and balance okay so there's my full flight it's telling me block fuel is 36 520 kilograms and zero fuel weight is 200 230 so you, you you need to write those two figures down somewhere a piece of paper uh, if you've got another screen you can just move this over onto the other monitor if not write it down on a post-it note or, or whatever block fuel and zero fuel weight there's still some other data that we require and we'll come on to that shortly. But in the meantime, just checking everything here. Yeah, call sign, aircraft, uh, departure time. I can change that if I wish. Block fuel and zero fuel weight. Can't call for extra fuel in Simbrief at this point, uh, but that's okay, because I'll show you exactly what's gonna happen. So I need to copy the flight plan there into a text file so that I can get the text file into the FMS and just load it in, load it in as a company route. So copy and paste, or so control C, control V. Now we need to edit this slightly, and I'll tell you exactly what to do. And it'll be the same whatever flight plan you use. So I need to remove Xmore One Alpha from the beginning there. So remove export more One Alpha, put EGFF, and then SID, S-I-D, okay? And then go to the end and remove the star and put LGAV in front of that type star, okay? Now, uh, anything where you can see numbers, so there's a slash in numbers, remove the numbers. That, that's about uh, step climbs and uh, cruise levels on the climb out. So get remove that. There's another one here, remove that. Yeah, delete, uh, put a space in there. And now we need to save this, okay? We need to save this file, and I'm gonna show you exactly where you save it. You save it as a text file, so EGFF to L, uh, LGAV, and it goes into this folder, Rotate MD11 User Data Saved Roots folder, okay? Goes into that folder, and we'll be able to get that into the FMS when we do the uh, Cold and Dark Starts and FMS tutorial after this one. Right, now we need to open up the uh, Rotate MD-11 aircraft menu. And as you can see here, all the things I've got ticked on the left-hand side is what, how I use it. It's gonna be cold and dark. I'm not gonna uh, uh, align 
the IR used in 30 seconds. I'll do those in the plane uh, when we do the cold and dark starts, and I'll show you how to do that when we configure the aircraft for engine start. Here we need the we need to go to the load manager. Now this is where all the data from the uh, Simbri flight plan. This is where we put that. So first of all, we need to put in our fuel quantities and the, put in the block fuel, which was thirty six five two zero. 36520, yeah. Uh, taxi fuel, um, I, I put in a thousand kilograms, a uh, hundred kilograms, that's right, sorry, not a thousand. I always put a thousand kilograms in the center tank for ballast. Okay, I always do that. And then you've got to put your trip fuel in. Now you get your trip fuel data off of Sim Brief. Uh, so I'm going to pull that back up again now so we can see exactly where it is on the Sim Brief. Uh, a, a briefing package it's there where it says plan fuel you've got fuel trip fuel which is 24959 and you need the trip fuel because you put that in and the fms calculates the landing weight of the aircraft okay so you do need to put your trip fuel in as well and and i'll show you when we when we go through the fms exactly where that goes okay here we are back with the load manager so Taxi fuel was 907. I checked that it was 907. Put the trip fuel in there, 24,959. And now what we have to do is get our takeoff CG weight correct. So you move a slider. Now, I put my payload in, so I'm taking 30,000 kilos of daffodils and leeks down to Athens. Um, so now where it says payload CG, I need to move that slider so that on the right-hand side, you'll see the graphic and also the figure for takeoff CG has to be between 30 and 31. Okay, so I shall move that slider to the left, the payload CG. I'll move it to the left and you'll see the, um, the, the graphic move to the left and the figure go down to 31. Here we are, you see this now? 31, okay. Now all I have to do is hit apply load configuration to aircraft and FMS and the aircraft will be loaded with fuel you'll see, you, know, you actually see the aircraft go down because it's all it's added all, all the weight added in or you can go to where it says extended controls and you can put in very detailed information in terms of your uh, cargo where you've put the cargo if you, you know in what deck and whereabouts on the aircraft if you so wish i find it's just as easy just to hit apply load configuration to aircraft and FMS. But if you want to be really precise, then you would use the extended controls. I just need to sort out my takeoff CG again. So it needs to sort out uh, my payload. Because obviously when I went to extended controls, it was expecting me to sort all the weight and everything out there. So I'll just put it in here quickly now, 30, 29,000 kilos, and then just move takeoff CG, payload CG, so that it's 31 degrees, the 31% should I say. And there we have it, absolutely perfect. So the aircraft is fully loaded with fuel and payload is configured, uh, is balanced, and it's all weighed out nicely. So in the next tutorial, part two, we'll be powering up the plane and uh, loading up the FMC. We'll see you soon, cheerio.